It's not my birthday. I don't know what the sun's doing. I don't know what the computer's doing. Happy Monday. Let's do it. It's another week. Last week of March, we're approaching Easter. It's Holy Week. Yesterday was Palm Sunday. It's kind of weird not going to church ever. <laughs> we're supposed to start being able to go to church soon. Um, it's just weird. All right, there it is. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. Our day, you know. One of the nice things about this pot is that it's insulated, of course, so it stays nice and hot. This took no time to get a temperature that my daughter had used it this morning already. I wonder what that was on the floor. It's a yick, dead stink bug. Don't like those. Wish they'd all go away. Morning meeting is getting ready to start. Oh yeah, I gotta clean this mirror. Nobody uses this mirror. Nobody uses this mirror. I don't even use this mirror and it's out here. I mean, I got stuff to make fires with here. And uh, it's disgusting because, I don't know, because we're on a porch and it drips from up there sometimes. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's just a mess. It's just a mess. Much better. Where's my mouse? Join the meeting. Connecting. Oh, it connected over there. All right. Join with audio. Well, I know I said that I didn't, it was a lazy Sunday uh, in the last video, but I did actually spend a fair amount of time organizing and um, stacking up all of our plastic bins with Christmas and holiday decorations and pillows. Now, I have a, a problem basement, right? This is an old house, 75 year old house, and ever since we've had it, this floor drain backs up. Rainwater, only rainwater, rainwater, and it comes up and it gets wet in here, so everything, pretty much has to be in plastic if it's going to be setting on the floor. So, um, this was, I, we were looking for spring stuff because it's time to put out the spring stuff and uh, we couldn't find some stuff. And so I just, I was looking Easter stuff, whatever springtime stuff. And so I, this is part of our space for holiday decorations. Now we have a lot of holiday decorations. Um, this is all this shelf is all Christmas, Christmas. And there's more Christmas back there and there's more Christmas back there. It's an old house. I, I'm not embarrassed about my basement even though I am embarrassed about my basement. But um, we've gotten rid of a lot of stuff. 25 years, man, stuff accumulates. And uh, we are approaching the 25th anniversary of the closing on this house as a matter of fact, 25th year. Um, I wish I was actually only five years away from paying off the house. Oh, well, life gets in the way. Um, so, you know, there's less and there's, we're going to keep at it because we want to, but whoo, man. What do you say, Santa? Remember, the magic of Christmas lies in your heart. Yes, it does. I've talked about this wallpaper. <laughs> the only original wall decoration left in the house. The basement I've redone, but the circus motif wallpaper we've kept. I don't know why. I have no idea why. Um, I've also been wearing this off and on in several of the most recent days. It's just, you know, I don't wear it all day and then I take it off and hang it up because I haven't been wearing it all day. And then it's just, it's a cozy new favorite thing for me to put on. And I realize as I edited and uploaded a video today that I wore this in several of the, um, things I shot last week. Sorry about that. Sorry about the non-changing clothing. I guess I could turn into like Mark Zuckerberg and those guys that, uh, and Bill Gates been, um, um, I can't remember, Apple guy. It come to me, um, who just always wore the same thing because it eliminates one decision that you have to make during the day. So you can save your mental energy for other more important decisions, right? So I'll just wear the same thing every day. I'm not going to do that. I have so many clothes.
Triscuits. Tuna with some pickle and mayo and a couple of spices. <sighs> I've actually um, had some fluctuations, but maintained the five or so pounds of weight loss that I had the previous week, um, the part of that brother-in-law uh, challenge. Um, so it's sunny. I really need to, uh, again, playing sand volleyball three times a week, all that does for me is reveal that I need to be more, more fit. So uh, working on that. Uh, no real significant updates, but that's the lunch. This is the first thing I've had today. So we successfully completed a 17 hour or whatever fast. It didn't cheat. I No, I didn't cheat. I don't think I did. I might have had one little tiny piece of chocolate. Um, so here we go. I uh, just wanted to give you a quick little update on that. So progress, not much progress. Uh, there's no way I was going to lose another five pounds in another week, but we're going to work on it uh, hard this week. I did, like I said, during the week it crept up and then over the weekend it crept back down to where it was. So maybe I just had too much salt and that I was holding on to some liquid. I don't know. I, it's so weird. It's it's always weird. The whole weight loss thing, the up and down is always weird. And it, I'll, I'll tell you uh, for the thousandth time, it sometimes it isn't how much you eat, but it's what you eat. It's the quality of the foods. And for me, since I've been doing this fasting thing and, and off and on with a low carbing thing, when I when I have a, a extra couple of pieces of bread, like we didn't have much, so I had a sandwich on one type of bread in the morning, right? It was a rosemary, uh, no, um, a rye bread, but then I didn't, there wasn't much to eat in the house, so I had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich later. Between the jelly and the bread, my weight went up even though I kept under 2,000 calories. Uh, quality foods. All right, my arm's getting tired holding this stupid phone. Just another boring Tuesday. Whoa, whoa. You all know I actually can sing, right? So it's okay that I make fun of that sometimes and purposely saying poorly. Just tightening up some stuff. The legs were wobbling on the chair that I sit in. So I tightened those up. Now I'm tightening this one up. Lefty Lucy. Ready, tidy. Oh, that one had some room to go. One of the reasons um, these chairs ended up not getting in regular use is because this rung broke. But this is the one I've been using, so actually I think I'm going to switch from this chair to this chair. Anyway, because it's more complete. I also think this is my chance to rearrange my workspace a little. Mm, I've mopped this part. I've fixed the chairs. So my plan is um, to experiment a little. Because of the leak that happens here, where I've been putting a towel to catch the drips down there, which isn't gonna get fixed in the immediate I'm kind of toying with what to do. I'm thinking about actually moving all of my stuff over here, kind of putting my back into the corner there so that I can see all directions and work um, this way. That will be a little weird though, to tuck this table into the corner. So the other, the other thought is that I just want to scoot things a little further away from the door, maybe pivot that rack um, so that I'm still in pretty much the same spot look, but and looking pretty much the same direction, but it, it'll give some clearance to the door there because it just it isn't very useful right now. So, so cleaning. Um, funny enough, watched a video, random video as I was cycling through YouTube for things to um, have playing in the background while I was doing stuff, fixing the chairs and that, and happened upon some, you know, British guy that, uh, did a, um, just walking and then water and chicken and broccoli challenge based on, it was recommended because of another channel that I watched with Buff Dudes. And that guy went from like 20 to 
2,000 subscribers. Just re throwing up a couple of fitness, like every day challenge, the 30-day water challenge, 30-day, 20,000 steps a day challenge. That's some impressive YouTube growth that I sure haven't seen. I have 154 after almost two years of just vlogging like this. So maybe since I do need to lose this weight that I've put back on, maybe I will change the focus of this channel for a while and have it be less vloggy and more um, diet and exercise, you know, fitness and nutrition challenge oriented. I don't know that I want to do that because that's only one part of what it is to be a Cincinnati dad. And I have been wanting to reveal all parts of being a Cincinnati dad, not just one particular aspect. So, I don't know. We'll see. All right, I got to get back to work. It's just not drying very quickly. I'm going to open the door again after I vacuum that rug. All right, here we go. What a mess. It's always messier before you clean it. While you're cleaning, I mean. To be honest, what's depressing is just, you know, the stuff that I've done over the years. I put in this door and this door sill because one of my kids broke it by accident. Actually, like Christmas Eve before we were going to go to Florida and I had to put the, install this door in a day. And it didn't fit and the space is crooked and it was just a pain in the butt. And this door wasn't designed to be an outdoor door. And so slowly, even though I painted it, I thought and sealed it up. It's just been destroying itself over the years. But then all of this down in here and the goo that gets in, it's just old house woes. So a little uh, elbow grease needs to happen here. That's for sure. Uh, the bugs, so apparently spiders though, seem to not mind my presence out here because they have been active <laughs> in corners where I've cleaned recently. More carcasses of bugs and spider webs come back. So they don't seem to mind the human presence out here every single day. Not affecting them at all. All right, I got to get the store open and get some air flowing. Well, that's all done. We're going to go grab um, some chicken wings, you know, because Tuesdays it's buy one, get one on the uh, traditional bone-in wings. Remember, there's only one type of actual chicken wing, one with bones in it. Um, otherwise, they're just chicken tenders. Uh, we'll go to the fan stop. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go do that, and uh, it's on with the rest of the week. So, I hope you made your Monday and your Tuesday and your Wednesday. This is Tuesday. Yeah, that's it. Just two days in this one. All right. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button. Hit the bell. And, uh, you know, all that kind of good stuff. All right. We'll see you in the next video. Oh,